Hello everybody. This is Samuelson reporting from the grain cart today. And with me today I have the official 2020 Slivka Harvest mascot. Look at this character. He has hair, eyebrows, eyes, nose, mouth. He has it all. Who would have ever thunk it? Corn on the Slivka Pice. It's harvest time again, and the challenge of harvesting wheat and barley here in some of the West's most rugged country is on. Join me as I show you the ins and outs of our family's harvest here in central Montana. So it's looking like, especially now that we hopefully have that second machine up and going, we've already got a pretty good hole in this field. When do you think we're getting into that barley, Noah? Late tonight or early morning. That's, that's pretty quick here though. What's going on? Well, we made our big move from the Bennis farm to the what we call the reservation. Got moved down here, got headers put back on, and I cut a whopping 7.14 acres before we got showered out. And so now we're just sitting still. Maybe hopefully it'll we can get going again. Mr. Tyson, the official radio man. New super trucker. And the super trucker. That is a big trailer. I mean, not what you're used to. It's a pink but. engine. It's red. That's pink. Red with dirt on it. Hey. she's not. flying the drone there for you guys they did a test cut of barley let's go see what they're saying about that all right farmer matt so this is the mini gac moisture tester it's pretty handy for figuring out if it's stuff is too green or not especially when that monitor in the combine is not calibrated yet see because barley will test different for moisture than wheat unless you calibrate it right just because they're different crops. Same thing with corn or anything. Any different crop would do that. Nope. 
Looks like it's gonna be dry enough, guys. We uh, used the elevators testing equipment over at Moore when we hauled the wheat in this morning, and we're cutting it. We are gonna be air binning this stuff because it might just be a little bit on the wet side still. So we definitely want to put it in a bin that has some airflow that can help dry that grain out a little more so that we don't end up with a big problem in the bin later. But um, it's going. Get the thing in there. Yeah, old Dan Ziegler showed up this afternoon with a present for the Slivka family. Old Dan's from Madison, Wisconsin or near there. And he was out last year with us harvesting some and he's a farmer back in Madison. So anyway, he had a buddy that's a very talented individual and you can see what he made for us. It's crazy. It's a beautiful, beautiful work of art there. Holy cow. Yeah. Big, big shout out to Dan Ziegler over here. And my friend Buck. Buck is the one that designed, he and I designed it and Buck did all the work to get it <laughs> so a couple questions. How long did it take him to uh, make all this? I'm guessing he's probably got 70 to 100 hours in it. Oh, oh wow. Uh. What's up everyone? This is your favorite farmer, Tyson Peterson. I don't think Riley made any videos today, so I figured, hey, what the heck, I'm driving a semi, so I better jump in here and do some stuff for him. But Oh, you know, had a good old day of cutting. And... Oh, there's a grind. Uh -huh. Hope everyone's having a good day and, you know, staying out of trouble, keeping out of this corona, whatever they call it. Just gonna give you some interesting facts about Canada. See, do you know Canada is the second largest country in the whole wide world? They have the smallest ocean, and Canada has a third of the world's fresh water, but it also has the planet's largest lake. So, you know, if you want to be a Canadian, you better practice up your A. Because we like to say A quite a bit. We like maple syrup and a couple stereotypes about Canada. You know, we don't ride moose. There are lots of moose, moose and beavers. Canada has really good hockey and curling. And it's the best in the world. There's every little small town has a hockey rink. And we like to say semi, not semi. And we like to say roof, not rough. You know, I have an auntie, not an aunt. Or you Americans, you got a bunch of funny slang. You know, I don't understand half the crap you're saying, but I come down to the States here every year and I go combining. I've been doing it ever since I was 10, 10 days old, that's that. And my uncle started custom harvesting and 1968 his name was cliff ever since then it's been a thing that i've enjoyed to do and ever since i was about 13 years old i've started really just helping out started out in the grain cart ran that until i was 18 and i had my semi license and i've been just pretty much driving truck ever since then and hauling machinery from canada down here to the usa and we start in uh Goodland, Kansas, and from there we'll work our way up here to Slivka. That's pretty much it, so hope everyone enjoyed this little segment. Bye-bye. Guess what? What? It's my birthday. And? I'm old. Okay. Yep. Happy birthday. Thanks. You did awesome, Tyson. Tyson, come on, man. You, you know better than that. Oh, you did awesome. I'm gonna be so fat. I'm gonna share these with Dan. Barley, 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 barley. Come get your jump barley. We're moving, we're cutting, we're trucking, we're doing all of the things. All of the hardest things. Uh oh, I'm missing my gear. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. Say something. Yes, say something. You have to interview me. You have to ask a question. What day is it today? Sunday, the Lord's Day. And what are we doing on Sunday, the Lord's Day? <laughs> well, we shouldn't be working, <laughs> but <laughs> we are. But it's a happy day. Yes, today is his birthday. That's that Isaac guy. And we are going to <laughs> celebrate accordingly. Yes. By a gift of pork rinds and tipper snacks. Yes, I got, I got those for my birthday. 
Tea. It's supper time. It's supper time. Supper time in the barley field. In the barley field with our special guests, the buffalo gnats. The buffalo gnats and the itchy barleys, yeah. I thought it was a snorkel. More overalls? No, uh, a shirt. A shirt to go with the overalls. Oh, Look, they yeah, complement each other. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. These colors don't run, they reload. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> These colors don't run, they reload. <laughs> it feels like clothing. It's in a clothing box. Oh, it's the good underwear. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> All right. Bring your new knife. That sounds like a new knife. Knife. Nice, huh? Knife and Oreos. 